Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a vlog, Q&A, random topic type video. I just feel like sitting down and talking to you guys and seeing as quite a lot of the videos that are coming out the next week or so are pre-recorded, I just wanted to explain to you guys why and just update you guys and then while I'm at it, I'll answer just a few questions here and there just so that this video isn't totally useless and boring. Alright, so first off I just wanted to update you guys on what's happening with me and what has been happening with me just because I feel like I've given you little mini updates and videos here and there but I'm actually just going to give you like a full on update, talk to you guys about everything and then about what that means for me and my channel and stuff like that. So the first thing that I wanted to say to you guys is that I am very very lucky, um, I don't know if I told you guys this but my contract at my school only lasted until December um, and then after which point I would have to either reapply or move somewhere else. And I am pleased to tell you guys that I am staying at the same school. I am so excited. Um, yeah, it's just like the best news ever. So I'm staying at my same school. So that means that next year I am going to be working full time as a teacher still. To be honest with you guys, as much as I love YouTube, I love teaching just as much. So I think that I would have to just balance the two. But because I have been teaching for about six months, seven months-ish at this point, I feel like I've kind of got, um, I haven't got everything in check because you never do with teaching, you're never on top of things, but I feel like I think I kind of understand how I work and like how much time I need to do things. So my YouTube can, I can take more time for my YouTube is what I'm trying to say. So do expect more videos for me next year. Um, and obviously it is a holiday soon, so do expect proper regular content and then the main issue that I have at the moment is my wisdom tooth I don't know if you guys can see I think the swelling's gone down a bit because it's just this side here so I think this side it might be a little bit swollen basically this wisdom tooth is impacted and it's like all infected and disgusting like wisdom tooth get happened a few weeks ago I told you guys about it at the time then I went on antibiotics and it went away and basically um, the issues come back so I've booked in for surgery next week so on next Friday the Friday after you guys are seeing this video I will be going in for surgery so I am pre-filming and pre-editing videos I do have a heap stocked, stocked up so at some time this week I'm going to start tuning those out for you guys I might even have some extra uploads for you um, so do stay tuned for that but yeah please keep me in your thoughts because I'm going under my first surgery of my life like I've had teeth pulled out but this is like full on with like an IV and like stitches and I'm really nervous because I've never had any proper medical procedure done on me before other than like x-rays and stuff um so this is like pretty major for me I haven't been put under I'm not getting put under I'm getting it's it's like the step before general anesthetic local anesthetic whatever it's called um so it's like sleepy medicine but it's fed through an IV so I'm really really nervous that's what's happening with that so hopefully I'll be fine so that I can start filming again I might be a total chipmunk or I might be fine but that's why I'm just pre-filming and just letting you guys know about this now because some of the videos are really old pre-filmed so I won't be talking about it in there just so that you guys know what's happening with me and why I'm kind of going to be a little bit MIA but you know what's new <laughs> so I have one more update for you guys or what kind of like a question so every single year I've always wanted to do vlogmas and yes I know it's the 6th of December vlogmas has started but as a teacher I work up until um like the week before Christmas essentially somewhere in that week school finishes for everyone basically I'm not going to do vlogmas because then that's 18 days or 19 days that I'm going to be only doing half vlogs so I thought that I would do 12 days of vlogmas um and start 12 days before Christmas and do a vlog every single day fingers crossed up until Christmas so please do tell me if you guys would like to see that as I said, for some of those days I will be working, so they'll only be partial or half vlogs. But um, hopefully I'll have some exciting things happening around that time that I can show you guys. I'd really like to know if you guys would like to see that because I've always wanted to do Vlogmas. I don't do a lot of Christmassy things. Yeah, but if you guys want to see it, please let me know and I can totally start thinking about Vlogmas and planning and everything like that. Um, so it would be 12 vlogs including Christmas Day. And then I probably will vlog um, my New Year's experience depending on... Um, what we're doing but we're going down to Christchurch for New Year so if you guys have anything that you think is really cool to do in, in or around Christchurch um, please let me know because I'd really love to know because Corpo and I aren't 100% sure on what we're going to do in Christchurch we're there for like three days I think so do let me know if there's anything that you think is cool to do in Christchurch so my wonderful friend Emily has asked me a few questions one of them is very funny it's what is your favorite vegetable if you guys know me, if you watch my videos, if you've ever met me before, you guys know I don't like vegetables. I am a horrible human. I have like an aversion to vegetables. It's the texture. I cannot stand the texture of vegetables. It makes me gag. It's so embarrassing. Um, 
it's really really bad when I'm in public or I go to events because I cannot eat vegetables um, but my favorite vegetable this is gonna be really weird um, it's actually spinach I don't mind the taste of spinach but again the texture of spinach but I could full-on have like pureed spinach and not care like I have it in my smoothies and quite often I don't put enough other ingredients so all I can taste is spinach and it doesn't bother me but other than that legit it would be potato and people will argue with me that potato is not a vegetable but everybody loves potatoes and that would probably be my favourite <laughs> so embarrassing Sophie asked what are my future goals for YouTube? that's a really cool question um, my main goal for like my whole life for YouTube is to reach 100,000 subscribers Cheyenne Cheyenne, sorry if I said that wrong, asks me, does Corbu try to distract you while filming? Yes, he does, because when I film, he sits right here, and he's right in the corner, he's like right at the edge of my peripheral vision. Um, yeah, he does try to distract me when I film, he's so annoying. Hine Manuhiri asks me, if you had to be trapped in a TV show for a month, which would you choose? That is a really cool question. Um, I would say like Arrow or Flash, but I don't have superpowers. So I don't know. Can I die in this like instance? Like is this like I'm asleep and I'm in a coma and I can't die because I'm dreaming? Because if I was just dreaming it would be kind of cool to be in The Walking Dead. But if it was real life I know I would die because I would <laughs> I would not be good in a zombie apocalypse. But if I can't die then The Walking Dead would be really really cool. Ellie Bryant asked do you see yourself buying a home and continuing to live in Auckland or do you see yourself settling elsewhere? I really would love to live in Auckland, like more than anything in the world I'd love to buy a house and live in Auckland, but I don't know how realistic that is at the moment as you guys know. The Auckland house market I'm pretty sure is the worst in like pretty much the whole world, like I think it's more expensive to buy a house here than it is to buy a house in LA. So I'd probably have to move to somewhere else, I would really not mind moving to Wellington or to like Taupo or something, maybe Tauranga, I'm not too sure but it's hard because I don't know how many schools are down there and I have to think about it before I move but I would love to stay in Auckland but it's not really that realistic at the moment. I don't want to move. I would worry about that later in life but yeah I probably would rent first maybe and then worry about moving later. I don't really know. Tom asks would I choose corpo or food? Um, this, does this mean like that I have to choose corpo or food and one of them's gonna die? Because corpo is like really cool and everything and I love more whatever but I like I'll die if I don't eat so if I had to pick like right now if I could choose I'd pick Corbu you know because I've already eaten but if it was like life or death like is Corbu gonna die or is all the food in the world gonna die like which one do you think I'm gonna choose all right on to the Instagram questions I've answered quite a lot of these Instagram ones before they're like the ones that I get quite commonly so if you asked a question and I didn't answer it please do check my other Q&A's because I do a lot of them and a lot of the questions um, are re repeated so I'm just going to answer the ones that I haven't gotten before. Bianca Helena asked my thoughts on religion. That's a really cool question, very controversial, I like it. Um, I personally was raised as a Catholic, I went to a Catholic girls high school and I know quite a lot about the Catholic beliefs and blah 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 blah. I do believe in a greater being, I don't think that the world just happened um, without something out there making it happen but I still believe in evolution and science and ad adaptations and that we came from monkeys like I don't I don't think that that's like, you know, not true, like I fully believe in all of that, but I do think that there's a greater being that manages things. Capital Cass asks, if I could have any pet, what would it be and what would I name it? I would have a Pomeranian, I don't know what I would call him, I would want a boy one, I don't know what I'd call him, I've always wanted a Pomeranian for like years and years and years, like a little like brown one, I don't know, they're just so cute. Maybe Milo, I kind of like the name Milo. Pomeranian called Milo? I don't know. Anyway, I would definitely have a Pomeranian. I'm not too sure what I'd call it though. This next question is probably one of my favourite ones that I've ever gotten. It's from Miss Patelli and she said, if you had to live without one of your five senses, which one would you give up? So the five senses are touch, hearing, sight, taste and smell, I think. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Um, I would 100% like don't even need to think about it because I talk about this, I had this conversation so many times with different people, I would definitely give up my sense of hearing. Most people would probably be like, oh yeah, touch or taste. I would so give up hearing, like, I don't think I could live without being able to, like, feel the warmth of someone giving you a hug and, like, you know, stuff like that. Um, sight, obviously, is a no-brainer. I would never want to give up my sight and taste, come on. I'm addicted to food, like... What would life be without that? Morgan XO asked me, if you were a type of food, what would you be and why? I would be poutine because... 
Um, poutine is like really weird. It's a really bizarre food. Like if you've never had it, it's like chips with gravy and cheese on top. Like it's really strange. Um, and I feel like you love it or you hate it. Like whenever I've taken people to eat poutine, they're not like, oh yeah, it's okay. They're either like, oh my God, this is the best food I've ever eaten. Or they're like, oh my God, this is disgusting. Why did you feed me this? And I feel like I'm kind of like that as well. Like people either like really like me or they don't like me. At least this is what it was like at high school. I don't know what it's like now because I don't really care what people think. But yeah, um, and I also just really freaking like poutine. Hine Jordan asked me, would I rather go a week without bathing but be able to change my clothes or a week without changing your clothes but be able to bathe? I would definitely rather the second one because then I could at least clean my body and get all of the dirt off from the nasty clothes. Like I could shower like two times a day. And the last question that I'm going to answer today is from Jasmine Hanna and she asked, what inspired you to become a teacher and what was your first part-time job? Let me tell you my first part-time job first because that kind of sort of leads into my, why I became a teacher, sort of. Um, I was a after-school care carer, after-school care teacher whatever you want to call them I was like 16 and I got a job at my local primary school doing after school care and I really really enjoyed it it was so awesome it was good getting to know kids and be in charge um, I really liked like the leadership thing like the role of being in charge was really cool especially when you're only 16 um, but that wasn't really the reason when I went to primary school I had this really really awesome teacher she was so fantastic. My brother had her as well. She was just so great and I've remembered her my whole entire life. I can remember her face, I can remember what she used to do. She was just really inspiring and that kind of made me want to be a teacher like at the back of my head but it was never like my main focus. I was never like oh my god I want to be a teacher for my whole life. Do you know what I mean? Um, but then when I got to high school I sat down and I thought like what do I actually want to do with my life? This was in my last year of high school mind you. Um, and we did this test and that was one of my things that came out of the test and then I was like okay, yeah, I'll be a teacher, and then, yeah, it, like, it never was something that I always wanted to do, but now that I'm doing it, I could never, ever imagine doing anything else, if that makes sense. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love you all so much, thank you all for standing by me when I've had very stressful times at school, but it's nearly over, two more weeks, and then I'm free for six weeks, free-ish, because I've got to prepare for next year, but anyway, I love you all so, so much, thank you guys, and I will see you all next time, bye!